And now for something completely different. Emmanuel Kant was a real pissant who was very rarely stable. Heidegger, Heidegger was a boozy beggar who could think you under the table. David Hume could outconsume Wilhelm Friedrich Hegel. And Wittgenstein was a beery swine who was just as schlossed as Schlegel. There's nothing Nietzsche couldn't teach you about the raisin of the wrist. Socrates himself was permanently pissed. John Stuart Mill, of his own free will, on half a pint of shandy was particularly ill. Plato, they say, could stick it away. Half a crate of whiskey every day. Aristotle, Aristotle was a bugger for the bottle, and Hobbes was fond of his dram. And Rene Descartes was a drunken fart. I drink, therefore I am. Yes, Socrates himself is particularly missed. A lovely little thinker, but a bugger when he's pissed.